Howdy folks, we're down here at Edward R. Murrow Park here in Washington, D.C. at the corner of 18th and H for the IMF World Bank protest. who are meeting across the street in that building over there and also at this other building over here where the awning, where the, uh, uh, the pop-up little dealies have got teeth. Uh, so anyway, we got a little handful of demonstrators that are here and uh, we'll be getting off around 1 o'clock. Which I guess it's one o'clock right now. Thanks for joining us. A little sign making going on. It's like if you have any Jewish hands up there from Europe to World War II, you know, it doesn't matter how much, it matters that it's there. Because that means you wouldn't be there if the enemy didn't want to fight. Beautiful day out here in Washington. Is that beautiful day? I'm stuck in this. Our audience here. After a long cold winter, this nice weather is more than welcome. Anyway, we're here for the anti-IMF World Bank protest. Check us out on Facebook. Uh, if you want to retweet, it's at Freeman Sullivan. If you want to follow me, or Clark Sullivan on Facebook. tell you austerity is bullshit it's a phony ass cover for ways of capitalist banks the banksters to extract wealth out of countries as much wealth as they can it's basically a rip-off scheme uh, under the guys using the code where well we don't have enough money to uh, support everything well basically what the IMF ends up doing is funding the war machine in these various countries Instant motherfucker. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Uh, I texted you. Your card is on its way. And left light, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, I texted him back to the barricade to grow up, and it's like. It's like well, we have a pretty heavy police presence considering the amount of people that we have here. No, we're outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. We're outnumbered by the police, right? We got them. 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 This is still the lightest weight police presence I've seen. Good. A fortification is lighter to secure the same area where wild ass dies. So, look, what's the pattern for the video? I'm ready. Okay. 
Street theater. Street theater. Okay, we're out here. Anyway, for those of you just joining us, we're here. Uh, this is anti-IMF World Bank protest here in Washington, D.C. We're here at 18th and H. Come by and join us. We're just a few blocks away from the White House. Um, and most of the uh, lobbying companies are down in this area. Uh, so if you're in D.C., come down and join us. We'll be here for at least the next hour. Well, if you're not... So we'll be getting underway here in a little bit. We're waiting for some more people to show up, and as well as our bicycle brigade. So hang with us. And we're picking up viewers. Starting to get more viral now. Now I'm, it's nice because now I've been doing this for a while. That if if it's a good protest and something's happening, my shit goes viral pretty quick. Right. So I'm happy about that. And more viewers uh, up in New York for the uh, I did a uh, you know it was like a wave of action, and I had more viewers that day than I've ever had. I had 4,600 people watching. So. Anyway, much love to you guys out there that are watching. We're here in Washington, D.C. at the anti-IMF World Bank protest where the delegates are meeting. And you can see them going in and out of that door across the street. And they all have that little name tag on, so they're pretty easy to identify. And these are the people that are responsible for the policies of austerity that's really hurting poor people around the country, around the world, rather. Also, um, there's a big deal going on yeah, last uh, yesterday yeah, there was uh, people in Brazil so, uh, and they, they were evicting squatters so you might want to check that out as well yeah there was a sign it's like uh, you are trespassing trespassers are subject to uh, arrest without warning and will be prosecuted blah blah blah, blah, blah. blah. this was that oh, some like dumpster, dumpster. <laughs> yeah the dumpster <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make this quick. I'm coming back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm spreading one time on the next one. Yes. There we go. I'll take it on. Anyway, I'm your intrepid live streamer once again. This is at Freeman Sullivan if you're following me on Twitter. So you can find out what's going on in Washington, D.C. And I'm going to be doing some more traveling here in the next few weeks. Yeah, international motherfuckers. That's what I was thinking too. I mean, it's a natural IMF. I am a motherfucker. By the way, this isn't a family-friendly broadcast, so if you got little kids, well, well, let's see if anybody's in the chat. Clark, the live streamer. I guess this will be my 384th live stream. I'll be here in DC off and on and on the East Coast until July. And then I'm going back to San Francisco. I miss my cool gray city by the bay, folks. I'm feeling homesick recently. Yeah, I got one. Oh, really? Oh, by the way, if you're watching on a web browser, oh, uh, be sure Jerry to Matt. install Adblock Plus <laughs> to block out those annoying ads that Ustream runs all the time. 
Uh, the business model sucks. What? No, I had a mask and I had a crown. You know, you stream when you're selling those pro accounts, you're supposed to back them up with some, <laughs> some uh, tech support. You just can't charge people for premium memberships and then not provide for tech support. So. <laughs> there you go, check it. Then I saw it on the floor. So that looks pretty clear, huh? Yeah, so I think they're just leaving. They'll be here in a few minutes. Hey, so how are you doing? General Bear, thank you. Thank you for the retweets there. There, Rob. It's hard to get Eli out the door, however, once you got the I'll be here in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you. Me. Hey. What am I doing? I'm, I'm out of the picture. Where was I? Well, you were in it. Just give it a second. There's like a little bit. Hold on. There's a little bit of a legacy with this. But that's what's going out. Oh, this is right now? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, as I'm streaming with this camera, we're watching it on that camera. Okay. That's all. So you got, like, a little delay? Yeah, yeah. In case somebody curses? No, it's just, um, <laughs> it's it's the um, software. Oh, okay. Right? It takes a few seconds for it to be uploaded and then downloaded into the right. computer. So, it's like, I think it's like the four to six second latency. Yeah, I'm going to be going to work for this company pretty soon. So. Be foolish to turn it down. I'm tired of being a broke anarchist. I need some money. It's trying to do everything with the shoestring budget. It gets old. I said trying to do everything on the cheap gets old after a while, right? It's not that I'm like a money hungry grubber, not, it's not like I'm a money grubber, it's just that, you know, it would be, my life would be, it's going to be a little bit easier with just a little bit more funding, right? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to work on the donation model, I don't ask people for donations or anything like that, I just like, uh, I just support it through my own economic activity. Right? So I took my early out Social Security, which is like $500 less, and then I... The government's hitting me for two fifteen a month. Uh, am I live stream? Yeah. I don't want to complain about my life. Uh, your life sucks. Tell everybody. Oh, uh, no, Jesse's a great guy. Okay. Right. He goes. Uh, he's an organizer. He uh, <laughs> sponsors a lot of protests. And chances are, if there's a demonstration here in Washington, you're going to see Jesse. He's a great man, and you would do well to be his friend, there, folks. Can I get here? He doesn't do Twitter or Facebook, though. This is bullshit. Ah, uh, yes, but I think that's something a little bit more informative. Yeah, so we're here in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is the anti-IMF World Bank protest. We're at the corner of 18th and H, so if you're in the neighborhood, stop by and join us. You would be more than welcome. A few more people that are showing up. We didn't expect this to be a huge, huge protest. My name's Clark, by the way. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. 
Got anything you want to say to our viewers out there about what we're doing today? Um, absolutely. I would love to. Uh, go. We are here to protest the annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. And in case any of the listeners are not familiar with who these institutions are, they are so-called international lending institutions. And I said so-called because they are not, in fact, controlled by the large majority of the world's people. They are accountable only to a tiny global elite, including Wall Street. And their model is to give loans to uh, low-income and moderate-income countries and to trap them in debt and to impose conditions on their lending which force countries to privatize their water and their health and their education and other essential social services and to provide funding for um, extremely destructive projects like dams and logging and mining that displace poor people and pollute the environment and ruin the Earth's climate. And for all of these reasons, we are here today to protest the meetings of the IMF and the World Bank. Thank you. Thanks. So there you go. There's a little background on why we're out here today. And we're waiting for more people to show up. We're expecting a little bicycle contingent. There will be a march, a short march, and a die-in, I believe. So stay tuned. Uh, also, I recommend that you install Adblock Plus. It's an add-on for Firefox and Chrome, and that will block out the commercials that Ustream tries to push off on you when you're watching my live stream. So maybe I'm cutting off the hand that's feeding me here, but you know those commercials are so annoying. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's I high. thought that would be nice. It's high. Uh, let's see. Any, anyone on there have a sign they want to see? Yeah, let's see. Anybody uh, watching or wants to see a sign? Nah. Okay, IMF is abused. Greece, Ireland, Bosnia, Italy, Spain. So, we're talking about basically a criminal organization who's trying to privatize everything, even your water supply. Like the guy, uh, was a guy, he's with, uh, was it, not Nabisco, but uh, the uh, European Chocolate Company. What, the European Chocolate, would that, that wouldn't be Nestle, would it? Yeah, Nestle, that's it, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to privatize the water supply around the world, and he's one of the, uh, the leading members of the IMF. Really? Right, yeah. Well, I know that Coke is trying to do the same thing, the company, not the brothers. Right. Well, probably them too, but, uh, are, are, is Coke involved? I don't believe I I don't believe that they're directly involved with this demonstration. So we got we got some protesters that are coming in here one by one. And I do believe I'm going to grab a glass of water or take a drink of water here, folks. So give me a second. It's a little warm out here, but not tremendously. Uncomfortable. It's nice today. Hi, Lacey. Anyway, let me get a drink of water. There we go. That's what we're getting underway here in just a moment, folks. Yeah, I got a supper the other day. Washington, Washington, 2009, October. No, no, no. No, all kinds of cops around here, folks. This is the home of the police state, Washington, D.C. Maybe you're not. Anyhow, I'm not. 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 I'm not.
I know that's a good one. I like that sign. All right, test K. K. Oh, All right. There we go. We should have some more people showing up here in a little bit, folks. We also have a web page just about the we had a couple of mainstream media people out here as well. Okay. So we're basically out here, we're protesting the banksters. Jail the banksters. I only have one marker, so if you have an idea, please. I don't have a marker of my own. Probably too policy wonky to mean anything. What do you think? <laughs> Austerity brought to you by an Excel error. Well, <laughs> seems fine. Yeah, there were these two economists called Reinhardt and Robot who made a spreadsheet error that was the basis for justifying austerity. Of course, you know, the error got exposed like a year and a half ago, but yeah, who cares? The bars that we don't care. Yeah, they're just counting on the ignorance and the apathy of the American public and the world in general. You know, it's amazing how much double dealing goes on around the world, and most people aren't even aware of what's going on. Even even a lot of activists aren't well, always yeah. aware of the other demonstrators to show up. They should be here any minute. And then we're going to be going on a march. It's a beautiful day here in D.C. 75 degrees, nice breeze, beautiful sunshine. Hopefully we can get some more people to show up here. Right now we're outnumbered by the police. Six, and there's three, plus four, he already six has one, so. I think there's more companies in the car, right? Yeah, well, I mean, you're probably not going to be holding a sign. No, my hands are full with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And other live streamers probably won't be, so. Well, maybe uh, Untold Carlisle will show up. He was here yesterday. Yeah, the reason I didn't stream yesterday, folks, is because I work at the Peace Vigil a few days a week. And I've been putting it right across the street from the White House. So if you're here in D.C., come down to the Peace Vigil. Uh, it's America's longest-running protest since 1981. Uh, you'll see Connie. She's out there every day from noon until 7. But we maintain a 24-7 presence right across the street from the White House. Is it all done? So uh, don't be shy. Do come by. All right. And we're there all day and all night. Well, then. So we like guests and visitors. And you guys have watched some of my earlier live streams, if you watch some of those, uh, live streaming from the Peace Vigil in front of the White House. Oh. So yeah, the IMF people, the World Bank people, are meeting right across the street over there. 
in that building right there. And then over in that building where it says spring meeting. What you probably want to do is uh, get a jacket and then sew uh, bird sandals. So basically, uh, oh, I could get some two way Velcro. Just attach the Velcro under the shirt and just start sticking to it. Yeah, that could work. Uh, the only thing might be is if that would interfere with any of the working parts of your camera. The back is awesome. You can take sticky stuff off if you want to. There are ways to do it. Like rubbing alcohol or mayonnaise. Yeah. Like comes off the back. Okay. I might do it. Look, Velcro is easy enough to get. So how many of these things do we have? Velcro all over. This thing is so aggravating. Because of the Velcro pieces here, they stick oh, to yeah. this. Oh, I hate that. It's fucking. It's like. <laughs> it's annoying. We well, got one of those Desert Storm uniform uh, shirts. This was my friend who was in Afghanistan, who was in my unit in '93. Wow. All right. Austerity, no privatization, World Bank sucks, the blood of 99% of 99% of the world's population. Air 404, democracy not found. And IMF trapping countries in debt since 1934. Um, I, th I think that this kind of gets our point across. As, as well as I can in things that are easily read in a few seconds. And we have six, seven of them. Yeah, make no mistake. These people at the World Bank are some of the biggest thieves on the planet. Look at what happened to Greece. Look what's happening in Spain, Italy, Ukraine. The list of the countries goes on and on and on where this theft goes on every day. Stealing the world's resources, destroying climate, causing climate change, supporting fracking. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, folks. You know, and it's really pathetic that people don't really know what's going on with the IMF World Bank, but we're talking about one of the premier institutions for exploitation on the planet. So we have a nice handful of people here, committed DC activists. On this beautiful spring day, Check the chat and see if anybody's chatting. Nope. Thank you for uh, restreaming us on the Global Occupied News Network. Much appreciated. I always appreciate that, Gentle Bearer. What? Yeah, it might fall. I don't think so. I think that they're tied enough in there. Good to see you. As long as I don't have to run. What's going on, man? Yeah, that's what you need a, a waist belt for so it doesn't doesn't jump on you. Yeah. Well, I'm not running anywhere, to be honest. You know, I mean, I'm still... Yeah, you, want a, you want a couple of uh, flyers? Yeah, let me, have a, let me have a flyer. I'll read what's on it. Yeah. For the people that are watching. Uh, I do like the graphic up front, but it's a little bit text-heavy inside. Well, that's... It's describing the way that these guys work. So for those of you who are watching, this is our thing. We're going to be out here tomorrow at 12 noon uh, doing a Food Not Bombs uh, food uh, soup kitchen, feeding the homeless. And there are homeless here in the park, believe it or not. There's homeless all over Washington, D.C., homeless all over America, homeless all over the world. Yesterday, they evicted thousands of uh, demonstrators and squatters in Rio de Janeiro. They're doing mass evictions of people for the World Cup which is uh, usually these huge sporting events usually displace thousands of people and in Rio there's there was a massive protest yesterday they came in police came in with tear gas and, and tear gas people and arrested over I guess it was a hundred 
so that's what's going on and the people that fund all this are the people that are meeting in that building across the street where you see where all the, 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 the fences are at so we will be starting as soon as the rest of our comrades join us here thanks for watching and uh, follow me on Twitter at Freeman Sullivan or you can friend me on Facebook Clark.Sullivan I love all my social media friendships that I have accumulated over the last few years so and I generally try to make it a point to tweet out and I gotta go, guys. post on take Facebook care. take it easy I gotta go take care of it Okay, take care. Your uh, cardboard would be right over there. Take care, ma'am. Right, we're going to go back and read here from the, profit, uh, the flyer we're hanging out. Yeah, this is kind of text heavy. But as World War II came to a close, <laughs> the leaders of the business and political classes in the Allied nations I want to be the ones to carry either realized a few things. Much of the world's industrial infrastructure would have to be rebuilt. Many of the lands that made up the European empires, the Indian subcontinent, much of Africa, parts of Asia, the American Empire, the Philippines, indirectly most of Latin America, and the Japanese Empire, large swaths of East Asia, would be gaining or regaining independence very soon, or within a generation at the latest. And three, many left-wing forces, anarchists, socialists, and communists of widely different varieties, were quite popular, as they were very prominent among the armed resistance movements against the Axis aggressors. These leftists often overshadowed more conservative resistance fighters, loyalists, etc., it looked like they might soon take power in many places. So starting with a meeting in 1944 in Britain Woods, New Hampshire, and continuing for years afterward, the world's big shots crafted a way they could continue to rule the world. Among many other things, they created two institutions that live right here in Washington, D.C., the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Okay. So I'll read some more here in a few minutes from our flyers, this is what we're passing out to people. So this uh, protest has become an annual event. Jail the banksters. You still haven't had a bankster go to jail. I was reading this morning that uh, Jamie Dimon got a $22 million, no, $18 million bonus for tanking his company. Right? The stocks are going down at JP Morgan, have dropped like a stone. And this guy's getting an $18 million performance bonus. Like, exactly what are these people getting paid for? I wish that I could royally screw up at my job and get a couple million dollars. Yeah, it'd be it's nice, wouldn't it, right? This is the modified version of the chariot. Where? Oh, it's back. My right, chariot is back. Here comes our uh, people from the Peace House. Uh, this is where I've been staying the last few weeks. Uh, Thank you to all those people at the Peace House, Peace House and the wonderful hospitality that they've showed me while I've been here in Washington, D.C. I'm very grateful for them and to them. They're really nice people. So if you're here in Washington, you can also stop by the Peace House. Oh, here we go. pictures here folks. So just give me a second.
by portable, portable media. Uh, I can't afford a big truck. joining us. We're down here at Edward R. Murrow Park here in Washington, D.C. for an anti-IMF World Bank protest. Glad that you're here. I'm Freeman Sullivan. And what is up with my Instagram account? Instagram doesn't want to work, I'll try Twitter. Rocky's here. Just give me a second here again, folks. We'll be starting to protest here in just a few minutes for those of you who are watching. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm crazy or anything.
Good enough? Yeah. Remember the quarantine back in 2002? <laughs> now for IMF. Oh, oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I really hated autocorrect. Just a second here, folks. Autocorrect is screwing up my tweet. Thank you there, Adam Pagan. Always like to retweet, so really appreciate it. For those of you that just joined us, we're down here at Moreau Park in Washington, D.C. for an anti-IMF World Bank protest. The banksters are here, and they meet every year. They're robbing you and I and the rest of the people around the world, destroying climates, causing this phony austerity crap. Basically, it's all a bunch of BS. And we're here to draw attention to that. Exact replica of my skeleton. Yeah. 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 
Not a good player. 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 Not a Uh, now what about the big black sign? Jesse and... I get carried. Okay. Okay. So it's like a two-man carry? Yeah. It could be carried by one man. Yeah, they always have to say, hey, <laughs> yeah, oh, thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. Thank you, Love Barber. Thank you, uh, Liz Rex Stein. Thank you, somebody who's tried these characters and Wave of Action. Thank you for retweeting. Getting the word out for me, I appreciate it very much. Hey, is anybody else coming? I don't think so. I think this is pretty much it. So we're getting ready to march here. So I'm going to get it together. We're going to be on the move in just a second for a short march. Give a man a gun, you can rob a bank. Give a man a bank, you can rob the world. That's a good one. I like that. Clever signs here. Anyway, we're getting ready to go on the move. So if the camera's a little shaky, you'll know the reason why. Anyway, we're going to be on the move in just a second. Rocky's in a cherry tree. <laughs> Not exactly a poke. Gotta stand straight because if I go off the other side, kind of. Rocky the squirrel. Huh. It occurred to me. That was always one of my favorite cartoons, the bowling ball. Oh, yeah. I think you're going to need to whack You know what the cherry blossom does for this? Celebration of an invasive foreign native. I don't know how to raise it. We forgive you for nuking us. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think that would happen before the war. It did. They were, they were, yeah, and the first batch of cherry trees were loaded with invasive pests that had to be burned. And the <laughs> Japanese said, well, that happens, and they said if the second batch it was clean, but. An invasive pest, a Japanese beetle, which destroys is grass and uh, that kind of plant, came in with one ship so My and the other nephew uh, had a baby boy yesterday, yeah, him and his wife. That's where they came from. So my nephew, uh, yeah, his wife uh, gave birth yesterday. Congratulations to Brady Wolf and his wife Colleen on their new child. In fact, it's all supposed to anthrax, which is used to test anthrax detectors. My nephew, much love to him. Very proud of my family. But it's nice to be in D.C. and being in close to them as well. I'm going to be going up to Baltimore on Monday. So uh, maybe I'll do some live streaming. I don't know yet. Uh, we will be at Red Emma's on Monday. Uh, if you're in Baltimore, go check it out. Red Emma's Bookstore and Cafe on 
11 North Avenue. Uh, it's a gathering point for anarchists in the, the Baltimore area. Right? I love Red Emma's. They operate the preschool. So check out their website, redemmas.org. What kind of, what size people do we have? They look so much like ladybugs. But it looks to be a dead body. So so we're getting ready to, yeah, Rocky found his chair. That's a lot of the reason why I bring the wheelchair around. It's more for a seat than anything else, folks. As you can see, I'm walking around now after, you know, for those of you who've been keeping up with me. Although so your, your legs, legs are like, like a like a coffin. You need to do something about that. Okay, well, I'm dead. You have to do something. Well, he's going to keep doing it. Streamline the dragster. Streamline dragster. Cool. So now we can keep this on here most of the time. And then there's got to be people, there's got to be like attendants that are going to follow Satan. And they're going to be the corpse handlers and the, the sign handlers and shit. So they're gonna pull the sign off and throw the body in, or how we're gonna do it. A little bit of anticipation here. We're getting ready to go on the move. Who's gonna carry what? In fact, I probably just I'll just ditch this one and take a one of the small signs. That's my favorite one, but we've got a very error 404. The dramatic thing is going to be loading the bodies into the cart, you know? It's like, I just can't fit more than one body. I mean, the point is, we just don't have to be carrying this body. Yeah, well, it's like one. Every fucking tank. And who's going to take it? I'll take it. Give a man a gun, he can rob a bank. Give a man the bank, and he can rob the world. Take him a few feet away, pull him out. If you gotta pull him right back out, you gotta run ahead. Thank you for watching. For those of you just joining us, we're here at Edward Murrow Park in Washington, D.C. for the anti-IMF World Bank protests. They meet annually here in that building across the street and in this other building. So, uh, Jason, the map? yeah, Jason will come right back. I notice a little, a little more activity from the police department across the street. Hi. We're watching you too. He's also inside. Of course. Uh, Jason, you were just in. We have a few more of the small cardboard signs. <laughs> so we're not being filmed now. We were being filmed just a few seconds ago by the police department. DC Metro out there doing their job. 
I think we could get on the street there, make a right, go in front of IMF, on the left, uh, come back down the big sidewalk, and then, yeah, we can do a circle and then uh, not leave. That's hilarious, man. Security guys are like, so could I ask uh, what our soundscape is going to be like? Like, what uh, are we going to be chanting? Bring out um, your dad. <laughs> Bring out, Bring out your dad. Your dad. <laughs> Bring out your dad! I asked what I'm gonna do. I asked the cowbell. I tried to get one from James Placer. Oh, my favorite movie of all time. Body Python and the Holy Grail. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no! Bring out your debt. Yeah, there you go. Bring out your debt. It's fun. It can go either way. Bring out your debt. All right, we're gonna have you playing with young people. Oh, Yo, yo. Yeah, that's no, 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 that's it. He's a double. That's yeah. a humor. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Our first carcass has been deployed. <laughs> it works right, with it. Mind. Are we ready? So this is, this is um, also ironic. Uh, oh, yes, recycle. Shouldn't it say buy green? Buy green, green capitalism. All right, well. Eli's going out to get into the position, so uh, shall we? Alright, slow. Sure. Alright. Alright, we've been on for a while, so we're going to try and save Satanic Sam. Yeah, let's Bring make some noise, folks. Bring out your debt! Bring out your debt! Alright, we're on the move. Bring out your debt! Bring out your debt! Bring out your debt! All right, just a second, folks. I gotta get myself organized a little bit better here before we start marching. So, excuse me. We're on the move. Thank 
by the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Welcome to the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Watch out, you're walking down the World Bank. Nice and tall. Do something good with your position. Austerity sucks! Austerity sucks! It's robbing the poor people of this planet! You're nothing but thieves and robbers! Jail the banksters! Austerity is nothing but a shell game! And you know it! Right, end poverty. You're the creator of poverty. You're poverty pimps. The World Bank is nothing but a bunch of poverty pimps. <coughs> Watch out. Watch you left the World Bank and International Monetary Fund. We are with you. We have a job. We got to help this guy. <laughs> Home of the biggest poverty pimps in the world. We're out here to say no to austerity, sturdy. No to privatization. Don't run to move again, folks. Sign, sign right over here. Yeah, sure. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. There we go. No problem. Yeah, so remember these people that you're seeing walking out of here. Most of them are poverty pimps. They're for privatization and austerity, which is something we're very much against. It's nothing but an economic shell game, robs the poor, destroys the environment, all in the name of big business and the banksters. And the sad fact of it is a lot of these delegates to the World Bank have really no idea of the effects of their policies on the world. In countries, the list is endless. Brazil, Greece, Ireland. I could go on and on and on and on. All these countries have been gravely affected by the policy of these shitheads that meet in this building every year. And let me tell you, there are nothing but a bunch of shitheads if they think they're going to get away with it. Yeah, let's see what kind of propaganda they have in the window here, folks. <laughs> 